since we broke one. Hop on in, hop on in. Oh. Man. I can already smell the freedom. Freedom? <laughs> Cranks right up every time, man. I'm telling you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know what it is. And let me know in the comments if you guys know. For probably like the first 30 seconds every time I crank this up, it, it wants to die. But as soon as it warms up a little bit, it doesn't happen anymore. So I, I don't know. Let, let me know in the comments. Some of you older truck guys oh look there it goes there it goes oh 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 uh, that is a misfire my guy you think so that's a misfire you probably uh need to run some better gas spark plugs or turn uh ignition wire yeah but like once it runs for a while it doesn't do it anymore i i guarantee that's just bad gas still you think so yeah it's got it's got because like it doesn't do it ever you're at the bottom of the tank though you're probably getting up all the fucking, oops, sorry, all the uh, crud. <laughs> Block that out. Why am I hearing liquid? I don't know. <laughs> Try the AC or something. I don't know. Oh yeah. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail. We got new tires, and uh, oh, there's some burnout lube. Some burnout lube. Back right into that and uh, just full send it. Oh. <laughs> I'm probably. Don't go with that, Alex. Oh my god. You almost went in that shit right there. I was You're, wondering what happened. Oh my god. I was wondering what happened. My brakes were locking up. I don't know. Wait a minute. I gotta zoom into that right there. Alex almost just ate shit. I was wondering what was happening. My brakes were like locking up. I'm like, what the fuck? What's he wanted to go off road. You wanna see if we can. Uh... Are we in first? All right, so here, here's the point. First of all, we got new tires for the truck. They're not in the back. We got new tires. So we're gonna... Oh, there she goes. Wait a minute, let me roll the window down. Is that good enough? <laughs> um, you left your mark. We, hey, we did a full circle, okay? We did a full circle. That's the best tire that's on the truck right now is the one that's spinning, dude. <laughs> so I, wanted, I wanted one more good little, not that I won't send it on the other tires, obviously, because I only got one tire that spins the whole time, so it's not like I'm roasting a bunch of them at one time. But I wanted one more good send before we put this new, semi-new set of tires on there. So let's stop and throw the new tires in the back of the truck so we can get James to put them on. But I'm pretty excited. We're putting new tires on the truck, which means the truck will sit level, which means we don't have the spare on it, which also means the drop shackles can go on now once those come in. Yes. Because I think those will come in today. So there's our new tires. Let's Going from a 245.70 to a 245.75. Got my boy James throwing down some tires. Fuck you, Tennessee. Hell yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Where do, we already got one mounted up. 
Look at my new tires. Tire man. I paid. Tire guy comes through. I paid. I paid 50 bucks for these tires. 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks. You cannot beat it. So now we got four matching tires and we got four matching wheels. Hell yeah. Don't break those sensors. Fuck you, dude. These don't even have sensors, man. <laughs> God damn it, man. Fuck shit. God damn it, mom. I pitched the wall. Fuck, get it overcooked. Heard that? You talk shit to me, bro. Real quick. Oh, no. Your sensor broke, bro. Fuck, stupid. Would you. Would you crack the wheel? Yeah. Oh, bro, I know y'all heard that shot go in, bro. I think it's crazy this thing does it, like, by itself, essentially. Pretty much. I only deal with shit if you got shit. Don't crack my wheel. Fuck your wheel. You need to put fucking 24s on this bitch anyway. 24s! Now we get to the tricky part. Suck it. That's the tricky Pliers! Part. Pliers! <laughs> <laughs> well, one time we had a tire come in and had pliers straight to the fucking tire. I've seen brake pads do a tire before. <laughs> you remember that from Toy Story? He's like, now for the tricky part. Yeah. Pliers! <laughs> well, like Toy Story references. You a fucking book, bro. I thought I was going to win that. Toy Story is the greatest movie of all time. I don't care what anybody says. Toy Story 2 is better. Like, like, like butter. All right, guys. So we got the new tires put on. We went from a 245.70 to a 245.75.17. But I'm super excited because we finally got all the matching wheels on there now. We got the spare in the back. We got matching tires all the way around. Matching wheels all the way around. I mean, we're, we're, we're starting that one's, the center cap's in the back of the truck. I need to put the center cap on that one, but we're, we're finally, we're finally getting old boy together. I still haven't decided what I want to do with this thing yet. I do have drop shackles that are coming in. So within the next week or so, I'll have drop shackles in and we'll be able to lower the rear end a little bit and that'll look pretty nice. But once we get to that point, I kind of want to just leave it alone. I mean, it's got decent tires on it. I need to do some brakes on it, but the, the rear end will be lowered down and it'll be sitting level and then it'll have matching tires on it. So at that point, is when I really need to decide, do I really want to dive into this thing as a project? Do I want to sell it, give it to my dad? You know, what do I want to do with this thing? But for now, it runs and drives, cold AC. It's a pretty reliable little truck. There's no tag or insurance or anything on it yet. So let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do with the old peach of a Saturn truck. You know, should we continue to build it? Should we really turn it into a project truck, do the front end swap, the 6.0 swap? Should we do all that? short bed it throw a short bed on it or should we you know lower the rear end a little bit like we're going to and then just kind of ride it out for a while you know let me let me let me know what you guys think i do know we need to get some tent on this thing so i'm gonna get with zach within the next week or so maybe around christmas and get some tent thrown on this thing i'm thinking five percent all the way around but i don't know let me let let me know in the comments what you guys think and we'll decide between now and the next couple of weeks so thank you guys so much for coming back by the channel hit that like button hit the subscribe button show some love to the bread gang i will see you guys next time let's get this bread.